is that three in a row? That would be four, actually. Oh, God. Come on. What do you say? We go five out of nine? So you can keep abusing me? No, thank you. I'm done. Oh, come on. I'll spot you three. Game time's over, Wyatt. They're here. They're here? Get set up in the conference room. Yeah. No, I'll just, uh... Get set up in the conference room. You did let him win, right? It wasn't easy. The guy has the coordination of a two-year-old. I know. The last time these venture capitalists came in, I took him boxing to calm him down. I basically had to punch myself in the face to let him win. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, if he's such a genius, why does he get so nervous around a bunch of investors? You spend two years working on a satellite phone that fits in your pocket and then bet the company on it. You'd be a little nervous, too, I think. The prototype. I can't find it. I don't know where I... You mean this? <sighs> I don't know what I'd do without you. Fail miserably. I would. Is that the uh... twenty million dollar prototype? Yes, and you don't even get to look at this bad boy until after we close the deal today. Wow, We're like stormtroopers. Stormtroopers don't write checks. All you got to do is walk in there, show them how the phone works. Right, and SunTech Digital will be a new force in global communications. Let's knock them dead. All right. Wait, wait. where do you think you're going? Into the room with the. People. Wrong. That's the adult table in there, and you haven't earned the privilege yet. Well, I, I played air hockey with You him. need to go back to the office and file a patent for the phone. A patent? I don't know how to file a patent. Figure it out. Can't we do that after? No. And you keep talking, I'm going to start billing you. And my time runs $1,000 an hour. But isn't this our time, Mr. Hand? I stand corrected. Your fast times at Richmond High Quote, that proves you belong at the adult table. Hey, that's a great movie, and it spoke to a generation. Nice of you to join us this morning. For your information, Mr. Sunshine, I've been here all night proofing. That belongs to me. OK. Where's my confirmation? What? The fact that you don't know already concerns me. Oh, you mean the patent thing? The patent thing is the only piece of paper that's holding up our deal from yesterday. Where is it? It's on my desk. If it's not on mine, by the time I get back, I'm going to feed you to Lewis. No problem. You wanted to see me? Sit down. I looked through your work on the Bainbridge briefs. Spectacular. We caught the discrepancies between listed assets and potential assets. That had a huge impact, Mike. Yeah, I, I know. Millions. But anyone would have caught that, right? Um, out of the 50 associates that are under my purview, not one of them would have caught that. You just have this eye for detail, Mike. I mean, no wonder why Harvey's so crazy about you. It's amazing. I mean, I really, really seriously appreciate that. Hey, thank you, Lewis. That's nice. You know that I pick a pony out of the herd every year, don't you? A pony? Oh, yeah. Someone who shows potential. Stamp my own little brand on him. Mm. Are you that pony, Mike? I work for Harvey. As you should. Good. Well, listen, I have some work to get to. So maybe we can uh, meet for lunch tomorrow at the club, say, 1 p.m.? Uh, you know, tomorrow... I know I just posed that as a question, but I really didn't mean it that way. Hey, what's up? I just heard from Wyatt. You got a response from the patent office. And? It's been denied. What? Evidently, there was a similar claim. Wait, what do you mean? Somebody beat us to it? No, someone beat you to it. They filed less than 24 hours ago, which means you filed a day later than you said you would. I tried to tell you that I didn't know how to do that. And I told you to figure it out. And I did, and it got filed. After you lied and said you'd already followed through. <laughs> okay, what's gonna happen now? I suggest you get on the phone, call the patent office, and find out who beat us to it. Then you're gonna have Donna find any judge who will listen so we can get an injunction and stop whoever it is from launching their product first. Okay, got it. Now I've gotta call Wyatt and calm him down. You think that's gonna be a walk in the park? Hey, Harvey. Did you tell him it was me? 
Why would I do that? I'm responsible for you. It was me. They signed the paperwork, Wyatt. They can't pull out. The patent dispute is not an issue, okay? No, they cut the check. End of story. I'm in court right now. Let me call you back. So it's Velocity Data Solutions. Did you serve them with notice of the hearing? They're a billion dollar company. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Did you not see the sign outside? Just putting it away, Your Honor. It should already be in your pocket. But you were running late, so perhaps that's why it wasn't. Let the record show the council has fined $1,000 for failing to follow the posted rules of the court. Your Honor, and I didn't mean to. Mouthing off. Mouthing off? Another outburst like that, and you will be escorted out. <laughs> Mr. Salinger. Your Honor, this is a waste of your time. The U.S. Patent Office is the only judicial body that should be handling this dispute. Velocity Data Solutions requests dismissal. Your Honor, if I may, this injunction request... Counsel's is... approach. That's the exhibit filing? Why wasn't I given a courtesy copy? Given the expedited nature of this hearing, Hand I Hand it to me. Hand it to me? And I would have assumed that a lawyer appearing before a judge would come on time with his mouth shut and prepared with a courtesy brief. My apologies. Request denied. Court adjourned for the morning. Better luck next time, Harvey. From now on, I want him when I go against you. Wait here. Your Honor, I Send them in. Counselor, you asked to see me. You must have something to say. Excluding friends, associates, and the clients that I represent, there are very few people that I'm on a first name basis with. And I've never had anyone, let alone a judge I've never met, address me as Harvey in open court. But if you're gonna screw me, I guess it's only fair that you call me by name. I could have you brought up on review for talking to me like that. Then we can get it all on record. Get what? Whatever it is that you seem to have against me for no apparent reason, I have a solid argument for any reasonable judge to grant my injunction. So solid, it begs the question, why do you have it in for me? And I don't even know your first name. Really? My wife never mentioned it? Your wife? The woman you had an affair with last month? <laughs>